So, a little banana. Now, make a little more. Make a little more. A little more. More make And perfect. All right. Now, a little agave nectar. Now, watch how when I pour this in, it just fills up that box and becomes perfect. And now the ice. Ice gets measured because ice is not just about temperature, it's also about texture. The more ice you use, the thicker it becomes, then it becomes ice cream. If you put in too much ice, nobody wants that. Actually, everybody wants that. But this time we're having a juice. So we don't want to put in so much that we can't drink it. So put on the lid and find my tamper stick. Which I just had. There it is. Alrighty. And all I gotta do now is wake up the machine and hit start. It's gonna blend according to this blending program, which is the smoothie program. Now it communicates from the app to the machine. It also lives on the front of the machine. So if you're not using the app, you can just point right there, hit smoothie, and it's gonna run that same blending program. There are 17 blending programs in all. The first five are on the machine. Smoothies, hot soup, frozen desserts, spreads, and, uh, and self-cleaning. The other 12 are in the app on the blender page, but also interspersed throughout all those recipes. Each recipe has its own blending program embedded so that you'll always get a perfect outcome because it always blends perfectly for you. Makes all the guests work out. I'm gonna make a little, uh, little lime infused coconut water yet. Next, and I'm gonna use this air disc container. This air disc container doesn't have a blade. It's got a disc with holes in it. You see that? No blade, just a disc with holes. It aerates and separates. And I'll show you that next. But first, we're going to do a little... little citrus screen smoothie. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of my cups over on that scale. Now, when it goes to each... You know, it goes to a new step, it zeroes out the weight of anything that's on the scale. So when I go to reserve step, now we're back to zero. And all I have to do is pour a little juice in there. And when I hit track serving, right here in the middle, it gives me the nutrition facts. Oops. It helps if you're actually hitting the right buttons. So I'm gonna put that on there. Now I'm going to pour a little juice in there again. This time I'm actually gonna hit right there in the middle where it says track serving. And there we go. So those are the nutrition facts for that single serving of juice. You can do that for any size serving. So that's very cool. Look at that silky smooth texture. No lumps, no clumps, no grittiness. It is just silky smooth. You don't see any little leafy bits of spinach. You don't see any, any grit from all those seeds. And the flavor is a much more subtle, delicate blend of flavor. It just tastes better. Try that. Watch how easy it is to clean up. Now, normally I would do ice cream next, but I'm gonna do the uh, perfect blend system, I mean, the uh, air disc container to show you how that works. You guys have a uh, Vitamix at home? Do you ladies have a Vitamix at home? You have one of these machines? You, pardon me? Yeah, so this is, uh, this is disguised as a blender, but this is so much more. This is actually a juicer. It's an ice cream maker. You see how smooth and juicy that juice is? There's no liquid in there. I make ice cream here. I'm going to be doing ice cream right after the, uh, the air disc display, uh, demonstration. And then I do a hot soup. The ice cream comes out frozen. The soup comes out hot, out of the machine, in just minutes. Less than a minute for the ice cream, two or three minutes for the soup. So, the air disc container, it's a separate container. Now, what you're going to get today when you when you make your purchase is you're going to get our machine, top of the line machine. It comes in four four color options. We have our standard finish in red or white. We have our premium finishes in the black graphite or the brushed stainless finish. These premium finishes uh, normally cost extra, but we're not charging any extra. So now I'm using this disc uh, air disc container. It has a disc with holes in it. Those holes aerate and separate. So I got to get out some. Here is my recipe. So that's the recipe right there. I'm going to use a whole one of these, a whole one of these, a couple shots of this, and a splash of that. And you'll be amazed at how good this comes out. 
and I'll talk about it as we go. So I'm going to start by just slicing off the ends of the lime, and then slicing the lime. If you put this lime in your standard Vitamix container, uh, it's just going to liquefy it. Skin and everything. You don't have to even bother cutting it up because it's going to liquefy it. But this container doesn't have the ability to liquefy because it doesn't have a blade. It's just got a disc of holes in it. We're going to put in the coconut water. This happens to be the perfect size for this. So just put that whole thing in there. It's about 11 to 12 ounces. I think 11 and a half, actually. And a couple of squirts. Squirt, squirt, and a splash. Now, this is aquafaba. Aquafaba is just the juice from a can of chickpeas. It's the water that they were cooked in. It, it behaves just like egg whites. So what it's going to do in this, rec in this particular recipe is it's going to form a layer of whipped cream on the top. So after this is blended up, you pour it into a glass. If you pour it into a clear glass, you've got that frothy lime juice on the bottom, that little layer of whipped cream on the top. Really pretty. Uh, what you're going to notice when I do it here uh, is when you actually consume it. It, it starts with a, a really sweet, delicious, juicy start and then finishes with a little, that little whipped cream. And the little whipped cream finishes a little more um, salty this time. So it's just a really unique, really unique uh, experience. Now, ice. Now this acts more like a cocktail shaker with the ice. It doesn't include the ice as part of it. So if you did the same thing in a regular container, it's just going to liquefy everything. So you're going to get the skins and the bitterness from the skins. You're going to get the ice and it's going to make it more, so it's going to be more like a juice. This is just a very unique texture and flavor. Start it on one, crank it up to 10, and you'll notice right off the bat, the aeration effect is where it turns it white with all those millions of tiny little bubbles. I let that run for about 50 seconds. And it gives you a very, I call it refreshingly unique, uniquely refreshing drink. And this is uh, where you should sing your song. You put the lime in the coconut. So this is putting the lime in the coconut where it belongs in the right way. I let it go for about 50 seconds. And now we're just going to pour that into these glasses. If these were clear glasses, you could see that separate. You get the frothy lime juice on the bottom and the little white uh, whipped cream on the top. Very pretty to look at, but just yummy, yummy, yummy to, uh, to consume. And you couldn't do this any other way. You need the power and speed of the Vitamix motor, and then you need it to, to use those holes for the aeration effect. This will fit on any model Vitamix. Uh, they sell for $145. QVC's had them for $145. They're selling out like hotcakes. We have them for $99. So that's a really good price here at the fair. We always bring our best prices to the fair. If you get the whole, uh, the whole machine, it's $599. You're going to get the $700 model Vitamix, premium finishes at no extra charge, a 10-year extended warranty, full coverage for 10 years. You're also going to get all the latest features, all the latest technology in uh, the all digital interface on the front, the five program settings, Bluetooth connectivity, and then on top of that, the perfect blend system, which is the recipe app and scale, these two cups and a little stand for your smartphone. You get all of that for $5.99, and we divide it into five equal payments. The payments are just the cost of the machine plus tax divided by five. So it comes out to $129 per payment for five payments to get our top of the line machine with the perfect blend system. Now, here's how you clean up a Vitamix container. You just run it on a high speed for you know, a few seconds just to get it whipped up in there. A little soap and water, and that just cleans it right up. So if you don't have a Vitamix, folks, now's the time. If you do have a Vitamix, we have the new air disc containers, normally $145 for only $99. We also have the uh, personal cup adapter sets, and we have the, uh, uh, the perfect blend system, all of which works with any model, and $99 here at the fair. So is that what the air disc is primarily So the air disc is actually, there's a bunch of stuff. I'll show you the cookbook. So this is the muddling 
kind of muddling and whipping. So that it does it muddles, it whips, it foams, and emulsifies. So for muddling, classic mojito makes a great mojito, quick and easy. Uh, strawberry lemonade. Anytime you're infusing flavor into liquid, this does a great job of doing that. Uh, emulsifying. Hollandaise sauce. It's difficult to make hollandaise sauce. You can do it in your main container, but it's really easy to over overheat the egg and then you run the sauce. This comes out so quick and easy with no effort whatsoever. Tomato basil vinaigrette's another recipe that's in here. I've tried all these and they're really all extremely good. Again, you're making your emulsification without completely liquefying everything. So you still get little bits and pieces of tomato and basil in it. So it's a very, very nice effect. Uh, aiolis and mayonnaise, very easy. Now, this was originally designed for Starbucks. Starbucks uses them to make their fancy coffee drinks like the chilled chai latte. And hot chocolate, makes an amazing hot chocolate. So frothy and delicious. Pisco Sour is another cocktail that you can make. Uh, whipping. Now here's a good example of how this works differently than a main container. You can make whipped cream in your main container. This makes it a little lighter and fluffier, but also if you put berries in with your whipped cream over here, it's just going to make it too liquidy and you're just going to be pouring it out. It's not going to be whipped cream. Here, it actually retains that whipped character, but you can infuse the berries right in there. So you can actually put your whipping cream in with your raspberries or blackberries or whatever you want, and it comes out looking just like that. It's so delicious. And then there's the panna cotta, which I haven't tried, and the, uh, the ice cream brown and Alexander. I haven't tried those last two yet. I'm slowly getting through the whole book. But this book comes with it. Now, there's other recipes you can get online, and eventually they're going to incorporate it into the app. They haven't done that yet, but that's, that's coming. So the container comes with the, this book, a tamper stick, and the air disc container. $99 here at the fair. That's $45 off the, the standard price. So it's a really good deal. And... What should we do next? Didn't you say you were going to do ice cream next? I think I did say that. Yes, I can hear myself saying that. So let's do that. Ice cream coming up. Come on over, folks. I'm making ice cream next. Ice cream, and it's free. That should bring people over, right? Free ice cream. How often do you get free ice cream? Free ice cream. And this is ice cream that not only Let's see, I'm gonna put that right here. This is ice cream that not only uh, satisfies your craving for sweets, but also nourishes your body. And that's that's the key. You know, every time you get hungry, every time you put something in your body, you should be nourishing it. That's the whole point of eating, is to nourish. You know, plants get this. They go down, they find all the good nutrients and bring them up. They have good, strong, you know, stalks, brighter blooms. But humans often put a lot of junk in their body. With Vitamix, you can eat the junk, like ice cream, but actually make it healthy, and that's what I'm about to do. So I'm going to pick an ice cream here. I'm going to just do a real simple little, uh, uh, let's do the carrot and avocado. That's a good one. So we're going to start by putting this on the scale. The perfect blend system just ensures that you get a perfect outcome on every recipe in the, in the app. There's over 500 recipes in the app. You're an expert at every one because it's this simple. You put your container on the scale. You determine how many servings you want. So that, that, this particular recipe goes for three and a half servings in this container, but you can change that. You can put in whatever number you want in here. If you put a number that's too small or too large, all that's going to happen is it's going to make the minimum it can make successfully or the maximum it can make successfully. So you'll never fail you. It'll never let you, you fail. You're always going to get a good outcome. It may be slightly more or slightly less than you can ask for because of the limitations of the container. Fun fact, you cannot make six gallons of ice cream in that container. That is correct. So you're not putting in gallons, you're putting in servings. So if I put in 25,000 servings, it'll just make the maximum that can make. So that's the way that works. So we're going to start by putting the container right on there. It recognizes the container and it starts asking me for the ingredients. Now, bear with me here for a second because I gotta find an avocado that makes sense. And by that I mean one that's got enough ripeness and I can actually get it out of its skin. I got a lot of not so ripe avocados in here. So let's find a good one. Usually the brown ones are a little riper. I don't have any good avocados in here. By good I mean ripe. They're all good. But just loosen the skin a little bit, we'll be in business. Put these away. I'm 
and let's open this up see what we got. Avocado is not actually a vegetable, but a fruit from the avocado tree. A lot of people don't know that. The one great thing about having the recipe app and scale is also that it gives you that kind of information. So you find out things all the time. I'm going to squeeze this in. Hopefully we'll get this to, uh, I think what I'll do is just go around there with my knife a little bit. You know, avocados takes forever to get them ripe, right? You wait, you wait, you wait. It's not ripe enough. It's not ripe enough. It's not ripe enough. Oh, it's ripe. Oh, too late. I mean, it's just like that. They, they, they have a very short lifespan. But that's going to make a really nice ice cream. And now we're going to put in the creamer. You see how it weighted? It gave me the protein, the carbs, the fat, the calories. Now we're going to do a little creamer. Now you can make substitutions. So if you want to use almond milk, or you want to make use regular milk and vanilla extract, you can do that. You can either just do it, or you can tell it you're doing it. If you just do it, it's going to think it's this creamer. But if you tell it by using the uh, pencil icon, you can change it to whatever product you want, and then it'll calculate the nutrients based on that. But watch, here's how you get exactly the right amount. You see it's calling for 6.53 ounces. Who knows what that looks like, right? But I'm going to just pour that in, and that's exactly what it looks like. 6.53 ounces of creamer. Now we're going to get 0.93 ounces of agave. Now the reason, we call this the perfect blend, and the reason those numbers are so precise is it's three and a half servings. If I change the number of servings, it's going to recalculate. But it does the math very precisely, because it really doesn't matter what the number is. All that matters is that you fill up the box. So I am going to put in a little raw carrot. Oh, look at that. Perfect the first time. I get, you get good at stuff you do all day long, so I got that right. Usually I don't get it right, actually. So. Now ice. So the real crucial ingredients in ice cream are the liquid and the frozen. If you get those that ratio right, it's going to come out creamy and delicious, just like ice cream should be. It's a little tricky to do it. The scale makes it so that you'll never You'll never not get it right. Your ice cream is going to come out absolutely perfect every time. So what I'm going to do now, put that back over here. Now the next tricky part can be the blending program itself. If you're trying to do it manually, you're basically manipulating the dial and trying to keep it moving. As it thickens, what happens here is as it thickens, it speeds up. It speeds up incrementally. The thicker it gets, the more force it uses to pull down. You use your camper stick to kind of help that go along. You're going to get perfect ice cream every time. I'm going to wake up the machine. When that pro program loads in, I'm going to hit start. Now this is ice cream that's going to nourish your body while satisfying your cravings for sweets. You're going to indulge the craving, but also nourish your body at the same time. And that's important because you only get one body in life. You can't trade them in when they start going bad. You're kind of stuck with the one you got. And the best thing to do is keep it nourished. I know this from personal experience. I got a Vitamix 20 years ago, 1999. I had high cholesterol, borderline diabetes, I was a little overweight. My doctor prescribed a bunch of medicine, I was not a happy camper, and we actually ended up getting this vitamins machine, and I got all those issues under control, and I got more energy at 66 than I had at 46. I think every morning for the last 20 years, I get up and I have a, an amazing, what I consider to be a peanut butter milkshake, that is made up with power greens, and peanut butter powder, and protein, and raw oatmeal, and chia seeds, and almond milk. It's delicious, but it really does the trick. It helps keep my cholesterol low. It keeps me from getting hungry, so I don't blow my uh, my healthy breakfast at lunchtime. And I've been doing it for 20 years, and I gotta say, I I feel young, you know. And I pass by a mirror, I look at the side, and there's my grandfather looking at me, and I realize the awful truth. But I feel young. I'd rather feel good than look good, and this really has helped me get to that point. So as long as I avoid the mirrors, which I do at all costs. I can walk around feeling like I'm 30 again. And I do feel young. Uh, you know, this is a hard job from the standpoint of I come out to these fairs, I love doing this, my retirement job. But, you know, I'm on my feet all day every day. I'm here from open to close. And yet, I still have a lot of energy. And I don't think I could have done that when I was in my 40s. So, the fact that I'm in my 60s and doing it, I think it's pretty cool. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put my bowl over here on the scale. And when it goes to the next step, which is the serve step, 
it's going to uh, weigh just what I put in the cup. So it's already zeroed out the weight of the, of, the, of the bowl. And you can put any size bowl you want on here. It's weighing just the ice cream when I hit drag serving. There we go. 30 calories, 4 carbs, 2 grams of sugar. So it's low in calories, carbs, and sugar, but it's really high in healthiness. And you're nourishing yourself, and you're still indulging your sweet tooth. You know, you get cravings for food. Everybody gets cravings, right? You ever notice when you get a craving, it's never for something healthy, right? Nobody ever says, boy, what I wouldn't give for a big bowl of kale right now. You ever heard anybody say that? No. Nobody's ever said that in the whole history of saying stuff. What do you crave? Bananas. Well, bananas are sweet and delicious, so I can see that. Kale, not so much. No. Raw beets. When was the last time you craved a raw beet? It's I really good for you. For our cooked beet, right. Spiralize a raw beet, and that's so, good. Yes, you can, and you can, oh, speaking of spiralizers, those are the kind of things that Vitamix is working on now. So they put Bluetooth in the machine. They also made it so that uh, the machine can recognize the containers and know how to adjust the motor speed. So they're working on all sorts of new blending gadgets that you can use with your Vitamix. And if you have this new model with the Bluetooth connectivity, you're all set. This is built for the future. They're giving you a 10-year warranty, about a 30-year life expectancy, and all the technology that you need to keep this machine relevant for the next 20 or 30 years. Uh, they had so many models, it was confusing to consumers. It was uh, difficult for Vitamix to keep track of all these different model numbers and keep them uh, sustained. So now they're just going to work on the new technology and you got everything you need when you make this purchase here today. So we've got our top of the line model Vitamix, this is the A3500, the Ascent series is the top of the line series, this is the top of the line model of the top of the line series, but you're not paying the top of the line price because it's a $700 model Vitamix, $100 perfect blend system, to find that it's $800 for only, only $599. Divided into five payments is only $129 each. That includes the tax, but no finance charges. There's no extra fees built into that. It's the cost of the machine plus tax divided by five. $599 divided into payments. You can upgrade to the premium finishes at no extra charge. You get a seven, a 10-year warranty instead of a seven-year warranty at no extra charge. You get all of that because you're at the New York State Fair. Now, if you're not at the New York State Fair, you can't hear a word I'm saying anyway, so it really doesn't matter. What if they're astral projecting? What if they're astral projecting? Which you would come up with that. That doesn't surprise me at all. Um, I don't have a good answer for that. Actually, yes. Astral projectors get an extra 5% discount. Are you astral projecting? I am now. If I were, I'd be surprised. That is true. So, do you guys have a Vitamix at home? Do you have one? Yes. Do you love your Vitamix? Of course you do. Everybody does. Do you use the Vitamix at home? I don't know how. Do you, you don't know how? Well, it's really easy. Turn it on, crank it up, let it run for about a minute, and that makes you a smoothie. Do you make smoothies? Do you? So, you can make your own smoothies by just putting the stuff in, cranking it up to 10, turning it on, letting it uh, run for about a minute. And that's it. If you want to make ice cream, you do the same thing. Just turn it up more slowly, but put in a lot of ice. If you're going to make a hot soup, just make it like you're making a smoothie and forget to turn it off. It'll eventually get steamy hot. I'm going to make a little soup next and show you what I'm talking about. Now this new model, you don't have to worry about any of that. you got a soup setting right on the front. It also comes with the app that you can use so you can make a hot soup by just touching here and touching there. Very quick and easy. So a hot soup in a hot minute. I'm going to choose the hot soup program and the uh, and the recipe. Now you don't you have to use this every time you blend. I don't use the perfect blend system every time I blend. A lot of times I'm just throwing stuff in there and whipping it up, right? But if you're making a pesto, if I'm making a holiday sauce, if I'm making a hummus, I'm going to get out the cookbook. I'm going to get out the cookbook. I'm going to get out the measuring cups and measuring spoons so that it comes out. Well, I don't have to do that anymore because I got the scale. It eliminates the need for all those extra steps. You know, it becomes a big project, getting out the cookbook, reading the recipe. I want to make five servings instead of three. Now what's five-thirds of every ingredient? It just gets to be cumbersome. With this, it's easy. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the vegan tortilla soup. Now, first thing I do, decide how many servings I want to make. 
I'm going to leave it at three servings because the three servings uh, works out really nice for my demos. It's kind of like one celery, one carrot, one tomato. I don't have to cut anything up. But if you change that, it's going to be different amounts. And there's no reason not to do that unless you're doing a demo where you want to make things go better. So celery, which is also known as a pointer, I use it for my pointer today. So I get a little goofy towards the end of the day. Bear with me. Whoops. Celery fills up the box. It's only uh, two carbs, nine calories. No fat, no protein. Now we're doing some carrots. Now I like to use raw carrots. The only requirement is that they actually fit inside the container. If it's sticking up, you got to cut it. But you don't want to skin it because there's a lot of nutrients in the skin of a carrot. The next item is a little tomato. Or you can use tomato, tomato, tomato. Really doesn't make any difference. Either one works. A little avocado. Fancy way of saying avocado. Oh, I got to deal with this avocado again. Forgot about that. This is not a super ripe avocado, so I'm going to do the best I can to get a little sliver of it in there. 0.27 avocados. That look like 0.27. Close enough. Maybe 0.265. Good enough. Blows that box, turns red, and checks itself off. We are good to go. What's next? A little garlic. Who likes peeling garlic? Anybody? I like eating garlic. You like eating garlic, but do you like peeling garlic? I think it's down here. So, so I have no, no volunteers to peel my garlic. So I'm not going to do it either. I'm just going to throw it in. You don't have to peel it. Garlic peels edible, you just throw it in, it's going to liquefy it, right? A little vegetable bouillon. This comes, this is an organic herb-based bouillon tube. It comes wrapped in aluminum foil. Who likes peeling that? Did I just... No. There's a limit to my laziness. I am going to... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and peel that, because as of right now, aluminum foil still isn't good for you. You know how one day eggs are good for you and the next day they're not and they can't make up their mind. Well, this has been pretty consistent through the years. Aluminum foil is not good for you. I'm going to take that out. Now that sort of filled it up almost to the top. I'm going to make an executive decision and say, that's enough bouillon to make this nice soup. So I'm just going to go ahead and go into the taco seasoning. Now that's up here. No, it is not. It's down here too. Now watch how sensitive this scale is. I can, I can sprinkle in just a little bit of that powder, and look at that, every little sprinkle shows up. You see how that moves that line up? Every time I put a little sprinkle in there. So if you've got a recipe that calls for just like a little pinch of something, you can actually measure it accurately using this scale, because the scale is accurate from a hundredth of an ounce all the way up to 13 pounds, and measures with real precision. Now I'm gonna put in some hot water. You can put in cold water. If you put in cold water let it run the whole time, it's going to get hot. It gets hot through friction. I'm going to put in the hot water. I'm going to let it run the program, but I'm going to shut it off after about a minute because it really will be plenty, plenty done. It takes about a minute to juice everything up, and then we're going to have it nice and hot already because I cheated and used hot water. So this is a blending program. It starts off slow, speeds up, runs at a really high speed for about six minutes, then it slows down and shuts off. That last little slowdown bursts all the little frothy bubbles in there so you don't have a frothy scent. I'm just going to go ahead and hit start. But I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to stop it early anyway without the slowdown. Because uh, I'm going to do something else to kind of burst some of those bubbles and you'll see that in just a moment. If you get your Vitamix here at the fair, you're getting the best package. We always bring our best package to the fair. This is a brand new uh, top of the line model Vitamix. The Ascent series came out about two years ago, and they haven't come out with any new since because the whole part of the design of that was to equip it with Bluetooth. So rather than coming out with new models every time they come up with a new idea, they could just update this model via the Bluetooth connectivity. They can use this is all set for any new uh, containers or blending uh, apparatus that they show up with. This is ready to go. It, it connects with the uh, container as well via an RFID chip. So it knows what containers on here and can adjust the blend accordingly. So this is really set up for the future. They give you a 10-year warranty. They expect it to last about 30 years, and it will be relevant the whole time. I'm going to go ahead and get some cups out. 
Now, if you get it here, you're saving $100 on the machine and another $100 on the scale system. So the scale system is going to be our free gift. And what that does for you is you hit the ground running. So if you've never used a Vitamix in your life, you're an expert right from day one. Because it's impossible, almost impossible, to mess, mess it up. You're going to be making holiday sauce, and ice cream, and frozen yogurts, and soups, and sauces right when you start by right? just picking recipes out of the app which is on your smartphone and and make it so easy look how hot that got now it gets that hot even if you start with all cold ingredients i'm going to put it back on the scale because i got a couple more ingredients i'm going to put in this is where i can uh, actually burst some of those bubbles that makes it, it makes it a little frothy that's what the slowdown at the end of the cycle does. So if you want to just turn it, you know, slow it down, that'll burst them. But I'm going to add some more ingredients, so that'll take care of that. I'm going to add a little tortilla chips and some spinach. You can put in corn, rice, beans, even chicken, make it a chicken tortilla soup. Again, look how sensitive the scale is. That's a half a leaf of spinach. That's a half of a leaf of a tiny leaf of spinach. And watch that yellow line. Boom. Every, every time I, do it, I put something in there, it, it detects it. And not only does it detect it, but it also gives you the nutritional value in very precise, in a very precise way. So when it says there's 49 carbs, you can bet there's 49 carbs. I'm going to go ahead and put this back over here. Now it's going to run a second program for about 15 seconds. What a very slow speed. On the slow speeds, it's just your food processor. This will chop, dice, and mince. Just like a food processor, you can make cabbage in the coleslaw, chop up onions or potatoes, make uh, chunky sauces or guacamoles. Works just like a regular food processor, except it's a lot better because a regular food processor, you have to get it out from wherever it lives. You gotta put it together, then you do whatever you're gonna do with it, then you gotta wash, take it apart and wash it, then you gotta wait for it to dry and put it back. This is just always ready to go and it cleans itself. I'm gonna put one cup over here on the scale. That can be a bowl like it shows here, but I'm using a cup. When I go to the next step, it automatically has zeroed out the weight of the bowl. And I can pour that in. It's just weighing the soup. When I hit track serving, boom, there you go. You get the full nutrition profile of what you've just made in the serving that you're about to actually consume. And look at this. This gives you the, ex the experience of a slow simmered restaurant quality home style soup that has been simmering for hours and hours, but in reality it's just raw vegetables juiced and heated. So that means it's a whole lot healthier, right? The best way to consume raw veg or vegetables is raw, and the best way to consume raw vegetables is to juice them. This juices them up, heats them up, gives you a very satisfying experience, but a very healthy experience. Try that. And now, clean up. Two cups of water, drop a dish soap. There is a cleaning cycle. It's the fifth preset here. I can just hit that. That's going to run a little bit more thorough cycle where you actually get a... Uh, it starts on a slower speed. And then I didn't wait for it to load. So I'm going to hit that. Now it's loaded. Now it's going to go. It's going to start on a slower speed. Make sure the blades get nicely rinsed off. Then it's going to go up, do the lid. Then it's going to come back down, finish the job, shut off. All you got to do is rinse it at that point. And you got a nice clean vitamin machine. So, if you don't have a Vitamix, this is the time and place to get it, no question about that. Don't go another year without eating healthier. This is the quickest, easiest, most delicious way to eat healthy. If you do have one, and it's an older model, and you want to trade it in, we do offer to give you a voucher. You take that voucher with you, you've got up to three months to actually turn your machine into Vitamix using the voucher. Uh, and that will take $100 off the purchase of this. We're going to divide this purchase up into five equal payments of $129 each. That's the cost of the machine plus tax divided by five. So you can get our top of the line model for that price. We're going to give you the perfect blend system for free. We're going to upgrade you to whatever finish you want. The premium finishes are no extra charge. You're getting a 10-year warranty instead of a 7-year warranty. And it's all available just to state fair dealers. Please come and eat up my soup while it's nice and hot.